Hey everybody, Mr. Bischoff here. Had a lot of questions about the packet and the packet of materials and what you all are going to uh, be uh, doing with all of these. For starters, I just want to go over what's in the packet. Um, you should have picked this up from school already. If you haven't yet, uh, be sure to go by and get it. You may have to call ahead uh, because the door is probably locked, but the folks at the front desk should be able to pick it up for you. The most important thing is this packet of, uh, of, of worksheets right here. Don't be intimidated by all this and all the big words and stuff. This is for both drafting one and drafting two. That means that some of these things, drafting one, y'all won't even be touching. So, um, but do make sure that you have the packet that has some blank pages in the middle and a couple at the end because we're gonna be using those uh, right here at the beginning of class. So this is the most important thing. The next thing I wanted to talk about are these two rulers. Um, these are called architect scales. They have multiple sides on them because you can measure in different scales. Full size, one and a half inch, three eighths inch, and so forth. There were supposed to be two different scales in here, but Mr. Penn, the folks that uh, sold us these, I think they made a mistake. That's okay. Um, the other ruler is um, an engineer's scale. The engineer scale is also three-sided, um, and it has it, it works in hundredths and tenths and things like that. So for our purposes for this one, this is the Imperial Architect scale. Uh, it works in half inch, eighth inch, uh, sixteenth and quarter, and so forth. And we'll go over this in the future. You have two that are identical. Um, you don't need to, but well, there you go. Um, as for our main packet, please be careful with all of these. I know I've talked about it already. Folks, this stuff, some of it's very fragile. I know things happen. Don't sweat it. If things break, I can replace it. And don't think that I'm going to charge you for every piece or every nick or every scratch or everything that goes wrong. But I do need you to be careful with them because I do want to get them back. Um, the most important thing in the pack is obviously the sticker mustache. Why is that in there? Well, it's marketing. Do what you want with it. I don't know. I haven't even checked this thing out yet. Do what you want with it. Stick it on your face, take a picture, send it to me if you want to. All right, here's what we got going on inside the packet. This is what I want you to be aware of, uh, just so you know what everything is. Uh, this right here is called a swing arm protractor. Uh, I will have a video for you on how this thing works, um, but it has a, a movable arm on it. It is like a regular protractor. This is a six inch. You also have a regular protractor. Hopefully you've used these a little bit in middle school and so forth. This is a four inch protractor. At school during the regular year, we have a much larger one. It's, they're more like this guy, uh, but you have two of those, the swing arm and the small guy. What else we have in here? This is called an eraser shield. If you don't know how to use it, don't sweat it. We'll go over it later, but the eraser shield is in there as well. You should have three large sized, regular sized, I should say, mechanical pencils. And the reason why you have three of, the, of these is if you read on here in really tiny print, you'll see that it says 0 0.7, 0 0.9, and 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is your typical pencil. It's a little skinnier actually than typical. I think a lot of people use 0.7s now. But the reason why the 0.7 has a, well, and so you can tell them apart in this way. They're all different colors, but the 0.7 has a white eraser and a white tip. The 0.9 is fully colored from end to end, and the 0.5s all have gray. So in any case, you should have three separate ones. The 0.9 is used for drawing a thick, dark line, and the 0.5 for more finer detail. There's also a little tiny Mr. Pen 0.5 in here as well. And Mr. Pen also provided extra lead. So that's in the packet, two. Now, here's an eraser. They call this a premium eraser. Sure, that sounds good to me. Um, these are good erasers. They're better than your typical eraser in the end of a pencil, and uh, we'll be using those quite a bit. All right, what else is in here? You have a ruler, your typical ruler of centimeters and inches. As you can see, it is six inches long. We'll be using that on a project in the very near future. You have a triangle. This triangle is a 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree tri triangle. So this angle here is 30, this angle is 60, this angle is 90, 10 inches on this side, to, excuse me, 10 centimeters on this side, two inches on this side. You also have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, seven centimeters on this side, two and a half centimeters on this side, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. And you have a little tiny pencil sharpener. Hopefully you know how that works. 
and you have an extra pencil. Hopefully you know how that works um, to use with the pencil sharpener. And now I want to go over some things that are a little more complicated. For starters, let's take a look at this guy right here. This, let's move this stuff out of the way. This, as you may already know, is a compass, but specifically about this one, the reason why I wanted to show it to you is I want you to be careful with it, opening and closing it. It is a little bit delicate. There are pieces that fall apart. Do your best just to carefully open and close it with this wheel. I'm hoping this thing will last for you because this one is the graphic compass. It comes with extra lead. Graphic compasses are uh, really made for precision, and so they're a little more delicate than, um, than, say, for example, the study compass. Now, study compass is pretty easy to use. You can uh, take a pencil in or out of here. You just line it up with the tip, and then you use it like any compass you've ever used before, drawing circles on a piece of paper, right? Now, the other thing is, if you want to and you want a finer point, you get tired of sharpening this, you can also drop this guy in there and use this with your study compass. In addition to the graphic compass and the study compass, you have a, um, a smaller compass with lead. Why they included this one and this one, I don't know, but you have this one as well with some extra lead. And finally, the last thing you have here, this is called a divider. Now, dividers have two points, right? Different. Why is it like that? Well, that way, let's say you're measuring something and you want to know how long is this eraser? You can take the divider from end to end and measure the distance on that eraser. Then you can get out your ruler and determine how long that eraser is. It is exactly two inches by Oh, a little under an inch looks like What is that? That's a half. That's three quarters. That's uh, seven eighths. It's about seven eighths of an inch long. Anyway, that is what that tool is for. So that's everything you have in your packet. If you have any questions or if you're missing anything, let me know right away and I'll do my best to help replace it for you. Um, also, like you said, if you have any questions about any of these tools, we'll be going over them individually <clears throat> as we go through the class. For now, uh, really all you'll be using for our first project will probably be the ruler. I think we'll be using the triangle soon and obviously the pencils and the eraser. Okay, we're good to go. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks everybody.